All right, let's talk about calculating elasticity. So elasticity is just the percentage change in quantity over the percentage change in price. With the idea being, I want to change my price. Right? I don't know, should I raise it a little bit? Should I lower it a little bit? Should I raise it a lot? What's going to happen to quantity? Right? So elasticity is going to tell us that. Right? We're going to do the absolute value to make it easier. Right? And that's primarily for one main reason. This relationship is always negative. Right? So this is always less than zero. Right? As price goes up, quantity goes down. That's the stuff we learned from the demand chapter. Because it's always negative, the elasticity is going to, we're just going to take the absolute value of it to make it easier and simpler uh, to analyze. So at this point, you're thinking percentage change in quantity, percentage change in price. We're going to do what's known as the midpoint method. Right? And the idea being behind the midpoint method is that if you go from 50 to 100, that's a 100% increase, right? You're doubling. If you go from 100 to 50, you're cutting it in half. You're going to 50% decrease. So depending on the direction, that changes. But what you can do is the midpoint method, what it does is it takes the average percentage change over that region. So this same formula now becomes the change in quantity over the average quantity divided by the change in price over the average price. And here I'm using the delta, the Greek letter delta, to mean change, or the difference, and I'm using the bar to mean average. Right? That's just to make this a little simpler. And remember, we're taking the absolute value of this. So this is the formula you want to remember. Okay, You want to remember this formula right here. All right, so let's calculate one quickly and see how it turns out. Let's say you have a quantity and prices. So say your prices are 180 and your quantities are 5 and 6. Right, so we're going to correspond those together, right? 105, 6, and 80. Right, so if I lower from 100 to 6, I expect to sell more. I expect to go from 5 to 6. Right, so let's find the top part, the change in the quantity. The quantity is going to be 20. The average of those is 90. Divided by the change in the top two, the change is 1. The average is 5.5. What we can do is take that flip the fraction, right? So we have 20 over 90 times 5.5 over 1. Right? And at this point, what we get is 120. Sorry. We get 110 over 90, so that's 11 ninths, right? And 11th ninths is greater than 1, right? That's where we're going to stop in terms of the math, because what this tells us is that that is elastic, right? Anything greater than 1 is considered elastic. That means a small percentage change is going to lead to a very large percentage change in quantity, right? So small percentage changes in price large changes in quantity, elastic, right? And so one thing that we know about elastic is that if we lower our price in the elastic region, we will actually increase our revenue, right? So there's a portion of the demand curve where we can lower the price and raise revenue. So if we were looking at that on a curve, right? So let's just take this middle portion and actually graph that, see what that looks like. Right, so say we have our straight line demand curve, right, where we have price on the y-axis, quantity on the x-axis. Right in the middle is what's known as unit elastic. Right, so that is where this, this elasticity is equal to 1. Right, so I'm going to write elasticity equal to 1. Okay, That's unit elastic. This lower portion is the inelastic region, elastic elasticity less than 1, and the upper portion is the elastic region, elasticity greater than 1. We said we're in the elastic region. So what that means, right, let's link these two things to revenue. The best way to think about this is start on the endpoints, right? So we're going to start at the ends. If the price is equal to 0, right, I'm giving it away for free, 
and I sell a whole bunch of them, well, you know what? I'm not going to have any revenue. So let's make this a revenue graph. Right at that point, I'm going to have no revenue. None. I'm giving it away for free. What happens if I set my price really high to where I'm selling it so high, I'm, not, I'm actually not selling any? Well, you know what? At that point, I also don't have any revenue. Right? So we're going to make this revenue and quantity. So what happens is as we start to lower our price on the top and as we start to raise our price on the bottom, we're actually gaining more revenue, right? So we're increasing our revenue. At some point, though, that's got to stop, right? That's the unit elastic portion. In the unit elastic portion, we make the largest revenue, okay? So remember these pieces, right? In elastic region, less than one, it's this lower portion. Elastic region greater than one, it's the upper portion, unit elastic, right in the middle on a linear demand curve.